Are you sick and tired of rabbits running around in your vegetable garden? Well, if you are, stick around. I'm Kenny Point at VeggieGardeningTips.com, and today I'll be showing you a rabbit-proof fencing that'll keep them out of your garden for good. Here in my garden, I've been plagued with rabbits who run around and get in the vegetable garden and there's nothing more frustrating than planting seeds and seedlings and have them come up and then come out the next day and find out that they've been chewed to the ground by rabbits. So what I decided to do is put up a fence and that's something that I recommend for anybody that has a vegetable garden, regardless of where you live. I'm in a suburban neighborhood, there are houses all around me, but it's not uncommon. Yesterday morning I saw a possum cruising through the, through the yard we get raccoons, rabbits, groundhogs, but by far the rabbits are the biggest problem that I have just because there's so many of them around here and just because it's so easy for them to get into the garden. This is the type of fencing that I used to use around the garden. You can see it's about 24, 26 inches tall and the grid spacing is two by three inch and it's a vinyl coated wire welded wire. This is what you'll commonly find in most of the stores if you go looking for fencing for the garden. For me, it just didn't work. If you look at it, you'd think that there's no way that a rabbit can get through here, but I've watched them go right through these grids. As unbelievable as it sounds, they can go right, walk, pretty much just walk right through it. If they can't go, the larger ones will go under when they can, but it just didn't work right. So I decided to go with a different type of fencing. This is what I'm using now. You can notice that the grids are a lot smaller. They're one by two inch. Some are only one by maybe one inch, but there's no way that a rabbit's gonna go through this. Even the smaller ones won't be able to penetrate this. The wire itself is also a lot heavier than that other fencing, and I think it'll last a lot longer. Again, it's vinyl coated, wire welded, and it should last a pretty long time. I use standard metal fence posts to erect the fence. This can go into the ground and it has hooks on the side that you can use to actually hang the fence on there. So you don't really have to tie the fence on. You can if you, if you want to, to add additional support. But I've found that these hooks alone will do a good job of keeping the fence in place. One trick that I'm also doing if you look at this fence, you notice that it's 48 inches high. For me, that's going to be plenty high, high enough for rabbits. They're not going to climb up. If you have other pests like groundhogs that can climb and go over a fence, you might want to go with something higher. For me, 48 eight inches was more than enough. So what I was able to do is if you look down here, you can see that I've actually taken the fence and bent the bottom portion of it. So I have about 12, 16 inches that's going outward on the ground. So there's no way that anything's gonna go under or even be able to dig to, to go beyond the fence. I also use little clasps, these little hooks, or you can use staples if you, if you need to, to hold it in, in place. But I found once you have it laying down there for a while, it usually lays flat pretty well. The other good thing, nice thing about this is you can see the grass will go right through this. So when it's time to mow the grass, you can just run the lawnmower right over top of that. It won't have any effect, and you can keep it cut and looking good in spite of the fence being there. It's not gonna be a problem. So my recommendation for you is if you're gonna do a, start a garden, definitely fence it in. This is a way to go, especially if you have rabbits. Make sure you get a good quality fence, and don't settle for the larger four by four or even two by three size grids. They're just not big enough. So even if you have to special order, go with a, a better size fence. That way you won't have the frustration of putting a fence up and still finding that you have rabbits in your garden. I'm Kenny Point. If you want to find more information on fencing and growing gardens, visit my site at veggiegardeningtips.com. Thanks for watching my video on garden fencing. That's all for today. And until next time, remember that no beneficial insects, plants, or animals are ever harmed in my garden or during the filming of these videos.